in this video i'm going to be channeling messages with regard to what you're unaware of right now what's being hidden from you and what's coming to light okay this is going to be a pk card reading there are going to be four options for you to choose from i'm being told that the four different collectives whose energy i'm going to be channeling today okay so at this point in time there are going to be four different cards i want you to look at the images and choose the one that draws most to you trust your intuition trust your gut trust yourself okay and that's i love doing pk card readings because it requires another level of trust in your own intuition in understanding yourself better okay <laughs> all right so in this reading i'm going to be looking at what's coming to light for the different persons and collectives whose energies i'm channeling at this point in time if this reading found you know that it's for a reason know that there's a truth you need to hear in here know that there's something that spirit is trying to bring to your awareness and that's why you've been directed to this video and that's why this video has made this to be to you out of all the millions of videos on this platform this actually found its way to you at this point in time because there's a message you need to hear at this time so trust i want you to close your eyes right now take a deep breath and choose the image you can see that pulls mostly across the four different decks okay i'm going to be starting off with deck one go to the timestamps to pick the time for the deck you've chosen all right baby i love you see you on the other side If you choose this deck, this beautiful mommy deck, <coughs> the secrets come into light now. What is being, there's actually secrecy being, something about your presence, there's something being kept away from you. You're also being guided at this time to keep your secrets to your chest. So keep your secrets to yourself. Okay. Yeah, also being guided at this time to so keep your secrets to yourself. If you watch, if you choose this deck, your water energy is actually also significant. There's something I'm hearing about you being secretive. Okay, so what you are not aware of is the fact that not everyone around you that you actually tell your secrets to or not even necessarily your secrets but just things you should be keeping close to your chest spirit is saying you need to keep it closer to your chest okay this is not the time for you to start divulging your plans talking about your love life your love life is serious here there's like a separate card to indicate your love life just this is not time for you to start talking about who is coming in who, who your lover is what your lover is about what your lover is planning to do for you um the plans you're making with your partner this is not the time for you to start divulging those plans to someone else this is time for you to actually like you've also got caution secrecy this is the time for you to really really mind your business okay what's what's coming to light is the fact that there are persons around you who you cannot actually trust at this time and it's also not because they have evil intentions like that but there's something about them not understanding what you're trying to do and them projecting some fears onto you which is going to distract you from what you're currently trying to do it's really saying you should spend a lot more time at this period when you found this video this is also like you being told to spend a lot more time with yourself spend a long don't it's more about show not tell and don't even show until you've enjoyed it for yourself so what i'm saying is like you're receiving good news instead of you rushing off to go tell maybe your best friend your partner your sis sibling your sister 
I'm getting like you need to first of all keep quiet about it, swallow it, enjoy the good news for yourself first. If it's like even a week, if it's a week, then you can go start telling everybody like, oh, okay, this is what I've been up to, this is what happened. But before you share, you are being guided at this time to be very quiet about it, to be more secretive than usual, to keep your secrets close to yours. You are also someone, as I said to you guys, may have like what the energy is significant. There's something about you also, spirit, at this point in time, you are being guided to pay more attention to the lunar cycles, to pay more attention to what um, what sign is the moon in? Is it a waxen moon? Is it a waning moon? Are we approaching the new moon? Is it a full moon? There's something about you being asked to come into more... Um, more cohesion with the lunar cycle and also using that to plan out your day-to-day -day, your activities your business plans your travel plans just everything understanding how the moon influences you a lot is going to help you solve some riddles you've been trying to figure out like oh why was i feeling this way all of a sudden why did i suddenly start feeling oh am i suddenly crabby why am i suddenly so moody why am i suddenly being so sensitive there's something about you being told and at this time you're being guided to come closer to the moon to draw closer to the moon if you can pick up moon rituals get your calendar synced with the moon cycle for females there's also something about you maybe your period your menstrual cycle is coming together to um align with the moon cycle so you might find yourself bleeding under the full moon bleeding under the new moon bleeding under the waxing moon bleeding under the waning moon and seeing how your bleeding cycle how it aligns with the moon cycle and what it means for you at that time so if you're bleeding under the full moon you are releasing if you're bleeding under the new moon spirit is preparing you to start new projects if you're bleeding under the waxing moon that's a different meaning if you're bleeding under the waning moon, it has a different meaning. Waning moon means you are coming to this place of completion, okay, of realizing. Waxing moon, you have a lot of things to get done. You are new projects that need your attention. So there's just something about you. I'm also be, being told to tell you to get more familiar with your natal moon. So you might know the sign your natal moon was. So when you were born, you were born in a particular sun sign. Um, you were born in a moon sign. The moon was in a particular sign when you were born. But do you know the phase of the moon? Were you born under a waxen moon? Were you born under a disseminated moon? Were you born under a um, tricotta moon? This guide posts still this as clues that help you figure out when your energy is at the highest, when you should be able to, when you should start doing things. There's also something about you. There's something about you are being made to come into more cohesion that's what i keep hearing cohesion correlation correlation alignment with the natural cycles around you okay you're being you're being it's like you're being brought home you're being back you're being brought back to natural states being able to flow when you should be flowing stopping when you should be stopping taking a break when you should take a break intensifying your output when you should be intensifying it Aligning with natural cycles is something that is coming up for you to pay attention to at this time. Okay, it's like the more you're able to do that, the more you naturally attract things to you in a way that is very easy for you, in a way that is natural to you. Okay, so you've got appreciate and enjoy the lunar light and cycles. You've also got the mirror, know thyself, self is a mirror, serving, knowing who you really are, seeing who you really are. Okay, so you found this video at this time because there's just something about what I'm seeing is like you are being guided at this time to spend more time with yourself, to spend more time knowing yourself, to spend more time being with yourself, to spend more time understanding yourself. One of these tools, one of the tools that will help you understand yourself is your understanding of the lunar cycle, understanding of the different phases. That's going to help you understand the different ways your emotions flow and how you can better align with your emotions. But what is also coming through is like this see that at this time when you are seeing this video, 
you are being brought back home to yourself you are being brought back home to your body okay so this is the time for you to see if you're 24 hours i want you to start allocating your 24 hours as three quarter three quarter of that is more for yourself so 16 hours more in your own in your own presence with your own self not being influenced by anything outside of you so people conversation news anything outside of you should be minimal so if you can separate yourself like that three quarter one quarter you're going to advance a lot you're going to progress a lot because you are entering this period of re-understanding where you are actually like shedding off layers of pretense or falsehood of illusions of really really understanding where you are beneath your skin it's like you're getting to this point in time where your soul is laid bare and you are reclaiming your authenticity there's something about you stepping into the light as we well truly are and the danger around this part is at this point when you're it's no more of figuring out it's more of stepping into the light you don't want to step into another's light you don't want another light coming in to filter upon your light you don't want anything else coming in at the time it's almost like you're being made to keep yourself in a sanctuary separated out sacred to yourself so that you can claim all of who you are without allowing external prejudices external illusions external projections to come into the milieu and contaminate what it is your brain at this time <laughs> what i'm also saying is like see yourself at this time you need to keep maintain a sterile environment you guys might be into sciences because what they're just showing me is this microscopic slide um slide for microscopes and you have been placed in this sterile environment and whatever comes in has the potential to contaminate the environment we are trying to grow a pattern so you've been placed in a growing medium <laughs> okay you're not a pathogen <laughs> but that's what you're giving me so you've been placed in a particular growing medium in a very viable fertile culture for you to grow okay so at this time if you open and expose that cultural medium if you open and expose it to um nitrogen nitric oxide sulfur oxide it's going to those things moisture um air pollutants dust pollutants those things are going to contaminate the field when they contaminate the field uh, mold spore mold spore fungi is going to start growing bacteria is going to start growing different um protozoans can come into the picture which they are not supposed to be there but that culture that that medium right now is very fatal for growth so it's like you are being made to discern like where I, what i have right now <coughs> surrounding me i have this very potent energy this very potent field energetic field in which anything can grow in and it's going to grow very fast so you are supposed to be discerning about what you're allowing to come in into that potent fertile field because whatever comes in is going to grow very fast so whatever it is that is not going to be beneficial to you whatever it is that is not going to add on to you whatever it is that is not going to increase you that is not going to elevate you you should not let it come in so if that means cutting off people for a while if that means going on airplane mode for a while if that means disappearing from social cycles social circles for a while if that means dropping out of social circles for a while if that means changing your number for a while if that means logging out of your social media for a while do all of those because you are doing it for you and right now you're in a very potent space and it can there's no reason for it to go bad but if you are not discerning or careful enough of the energies you entertain at this time, the things you listen to, you are going to corrupt your culture. <laughs> okay, that was very scientific. All right, so you've also got time out. Awareness, contemplation, solitude. I didn't even say this. You've got awareness, contemplation, solitude. Take a time out. This is time for you to be in solitude. Okay, this six mermaids here, there's none of them that's with anybody else okay so you are being told to be very secretive about your plans 
what you're trying to do with your life, what you're trying to achieve, the things you're working on. Shoo and not tell. Your love life, your lover, what you guys are working on together. Shoo, not tell. The only person you should be talking to most at this time is yourself and to God, your spirit guides, your ancestors, not physical persons. Okay? Alright, so at this time, what's coming to light, what spirit wants you to what spirit is bringing to your awareness is the fact that is the fact that you are changing, you're transforming, you are becoming more of who you truly are. But you have to be very careful of the energies you entertain at this time. You have to be careful of the people you listen to, the things you listen to, and the things you're allowing to come into your energetic field because you're in a very potent, fatal, ripe stage right now. And you can't allow just anything coming because whatever comes in is going to take root and it's going to germinate very very fast okay all right my love i really did <sighs> okay that's when i should give you an affirmation card but that's it this was very straightforward there's nothing for you to start to be like all right what if you there's no what if the brahmin here to tell you this specifically there's no what if now you read it from me your god has been telling you to be quiet so your god has been telling you to keep things on a low low okay now i'm here to confirm that for you okay there's no what if this is what it is <laughs> all right let's finish up your reading baby can you say i release my need to be right i am defenseless and at peace i release my need to be right i am defenseless and at peace this is not the time for you to start proving your point this is not time for you to start proving that, oh, what I'm going to do, what I'm doing. You're going to surprise all of you. Nobody's going to see coming. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shh. That is it. Keep your lips sealed at this point in time. Keep everything to yourself. Even though you're overflowing with joy, you want to announce it. Break dance in your house where nobody can see you. In your room. Shh. Okay. Let your own spirit work on this together. Let your spirit really, really finalize this. Like, damn, it's like spirit is like, see, I want to be the one to make the announcement. I want to be the one to show you off. So stop rushing. Why are you rushing? Why are you rushing? All right, my love, that was your reading. If you chose deck one. And you guys might also be spending a lot more time in front of mirrors. I want you to also do that. You guys, you are already spending more time in front of mirrors. This is confirmation, but also something else you can do while you're in front of mirrors. I want you to start reading the affirmation to yourself in front of the mirror and not just reading it. Start believing it. Start being enamored by the person you're becoming. Start seeing the person you're becoming in the mirror. Okay? If you chose that one, that was your reading. And yes, that lover is coming. It's scintillating love. Spirit is one of the things spirit is preparing for you to come in. <sighs> what they are saying, final note for that, because they're pulling me back. What they are saying is that love is coming. But you can't focus on it. It's coming. You just and what I'm what I keep saying is like it's just this very passion. It's going to be something very passionate. And things that just wraps you up. So it's like, right now, just continue focusing on yourself because very soon, <laughs> your attention is going to be so wrapped up in this romance that is coming your way. It's going to be like fire burning. Like, even as I'm saying that, I'm, I'm like, suddenly I'm feeling very, very hot. Like, I'm just having it flushes right now. <laughs> like, I'm feeling very, very hot. That's how intense and passionate this romantic relationship is going to be but that's not your focus right now it's like right now just focus on what you're doing with spirit oh, okay i'm very hot okay bye, -bye. <laughs> all right my love how are you doing welcome back to my channel okay so if you choose this step if you choose this card here's your reading okay so you've got black cats there's a curious journey into the depths of the unknown hidden so deep that only the brave Will gracefully return with light in their eyes and shadow leading on. 
Okay, so first thing they told me to tell is you guys, you are going to be seeing black cats. You might have been saying, but you are going to be seeing black cats after this reading. And they want you to see those cats as symbols for this journey, this transformative journey you're undergoing. Second thing, you guys are going to be seeing 777 as well as 1717. Now, the third thing I'm being told to tell you is, you don't know what this journey is about. You don't know where you're being led to. You don't know what is going to happen. You don't know what's going to come out of it. All that you know is that you are being guided to make some moves, to pack up your, your bags literally, and to get on the move to get going. Now, what has what spirit wants to make, what spirit wants to wants you to be aware of what's being brought to light for your attention, is the fact that if you knew where you were going, if you knew how it would all end, if you knew where the destination was, the exact time you get to the destination, how the destination would be the ambience, the lighting, if it's going. You will not really actually want to go because the surprise has been taken out of it. There's no mystery surrounding it. So what I'm hearing is that even as you are kicking back on this move, and it's not like you're kicking back. So you 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 were kicking back. Now at this point of mind in this video, you've come to this place of acceptance that okay, okay, I know I need to change. Okay, I know things need to change. I know I need to change. For some of you, this is actually like a physical journey you're undergoing that you're going to travel. For some of you, you're actually traveling. You're actually like traveling, geographically moving. So you've come to this place of acceptance, like, okay, I'm going to actually have to, I'm going to actually have to move. I'm going to actually have to travel. I'm going to actually have to, you know, go out of my comfort zone. But there's still that doubt about, okay, so what's in it for me? Am I sure? Blah, 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 blah. So that's why you're finding, you're finding this reading, and that's why this reading found you, and that's why Spirit brought me to channel this message for you. <laughs> Confirmation pop. Okay? So, my dear Dexter, this journey you're undergoing is for you. Bravery is one quality of yours that is going to be required in this journey you are going to be needing to be brave bravery means you are going to have to be truthful about confronting your fears confronting your shadows confronting your illusions confronting all the lies you've told yourself lies that have been told to you lies that have been sold to you and you believed and it's not going to be easy there are going to be God's wrenching moments when you come to the realization like oh fucking shit there are going to be moments when you'll be so so angry it will be like steam is coming out of your ears like your face, your whole body is red and you just want to, if you could, you'd... <sighs> you're going to get that angry. But it feels like, what I'm saying is like, yes, you get angry. But after that, you're going to come to this place of peace, of just making peace with it all. Like, okay, fine. I release all the bullshit. I release everything. I release everything and you are going to make peace with your journey. So that's part of where bravery comes in. You are going to need to be brave to face what you don't even know yet. You are going to be needing to be brave to face your shadow self, to face all the beliefs you've held on to from the past, to face all the lies you've believed that's where the bravery is coming in the bravery is not with regards to anything happening outside of you no the bravery is with regards to you facing yourself 
and that's the toughest shit having to sit down with yourself and say baby okay oh boy <laughs> we need to <laughs> we need to re-examine some things we need to re-understand some things we need to remap some things we need to make new plans we need to that's where the bravery comes in because what i'm hearing what i just keep hearing is like the bravery is just going the bravery is all around you acknowledging how much of the things you believed in the past have been false old and having that courage to accept like Shh, okay 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 so what's the truth so what's on the other side so what is it actually if that has been delusion if that has been the falsehood, if that has been the facade, what is the truth? That's where the bravery is. Are you with me? That's where the bravery is. You guys are in this very transformative phase right now. <laughs> and why this take me so long to get here? We are finally here. So I'm going to say congratulations. You made it. But the journey is still light. You finally made it to the starting point. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is like, you've been told, like you've been getting a lot of calls, messages from your coach that, okay, you're going to have a race. You're going to have a race. You're going to have a race, but you refuse to go to the track. You refuse to go to the stadium. You just refuse. You refuse. You drag your feet. For some of you, like your ancestors, literally had to come drag you to the track field. You dragged and dragged and dragged. Finally, you made it to the starting off point. <laughs> and I know you're scared. I know you're scared, but there's really nothing to be afraid of. You guys are going to be seeing a lot of black cats. And I'm also seeing like little black dogs. Is it pugs they call them? But this cute little, you'll be seeing black cats, a lot of black cats, but also black dogs. You guys are going to be traveling. I told you that, right? You're going to be traveling. You're going to be moving. You're going to be changing geographical locations. You're going to be changing your physical location. That's coming through. Um, I told you you'll be seeing 777 and 1717 as well. Okay. Now let's sit. <laughs> what did I tell you about you traveling? And bottom of the deck, can you see a cashier librarian? You guys are going to be traveling. For some of you, you are traveling for love. You're traveling to meet someone you love. You're traveling to where your lover is. You're traveling to where love is going to be for you. But you're traveling. You guys are traveling for work, basically. You're traveling, for some of you, you're traveling to a new workplace. You have been offered work in a new workplace. And this place, this place you're moving to, is somewhere that, yes, you're afraid. That's also where grief is coming in. Realize like, okay, you need to be brave to face your fears in going towards this new destination, this new location. And the bravery is coming in with what I'm being told to particularly tell is like, this place you're going to, you saw where you should have been to in a long while. Again, seven is here. This is seven of cups. This is somewhere you should have gone to. But you kept, as I said, you were just dragging your feet, dragging your feet, dragging your feet, basically, it's all around you. Now, part of the bravery is also, as I said, releasing falsehood, releasing lies. There are still some emotional baggages you're also holding on to, but that's also part of this falsehood and lies. But for some of you, you finally need to release the pain you've, 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 you've accepted, pain that was meted out to you, pain from past relationship. You finally need to let it go because it's not helping you. It's just extra, it's extra luggage that you're needing to pay for why do you want to drag extra luggage across i'm also hearing that you guys you need to travel light to this new destination you're heading to travel as light as possible don't take with you anything to which you have sad memories 
painful memories attached leave them behind okay leave those things behind when you guys you're going to a new place where you're going to be in a more loving more harmonious environment where people are going to be more valuable you're going to value what you do a lot more you're going to be honored a lot more you're going to be respected a lot more you're going to basically be loved a lot more there's just this good vibes reason for you for some of you this is also where you're going to meet your lovers you're going to be with your lovers but there's just a sweetness waiting for you where you're going to okay so this is me channeling from spirit like this yeah you need to be brave but the bravery as i told you is not based on external influences because it's being prepared for you already where you're going to has been prepared for you already the bravery you are needing to bring up within yourself is the bravery to leave your comfort zone to leave everything you've been attached to to live the lies you believed to live the life you've always known to leave everything you've been told to leave behind all the beliefs you've held on to and to make your way into the truth your truth spirit's truth for you not what the world has told you is the truth but the actual truth for you you have to be brave enough to leave everything else you've believed because the spirit truth spirit is not going to be like ring the alarm in your head in your face no okay, the voice of spirit is very quiet very still very calm my love this is what you need to do and it's going to make you happy the spirit is not going to give you any explanations <laughs> Spirit is not going to, if you ask here, yeah. but Spirit is not going to start laying down one to plans for you, and that's also what I'm up there. You guys, so you're in this place of planning, okay? So, what I'm hearing is like you're someone who can be quite organized, you like planning everything, you're very detailed, you like ensuring that everything is in place, you already have. So, that's where the bravery is also coming in for you to be able to go with the flow, for you to be able to trust for you to be able to go with the flow for you to be able to trust even though you don't know what's going to happen even though you don't know what's ahead even though you don't know what's coming trust spirit has got you so yeah at this point in time finding this video you're in the midst of making your two-year plan of like oh uh, in two years i'm going to be the head of this branch the head of this department i would have expanded and spirit is like you are saying <laughs> as Bruce is like if only you knew if you know the plans i have for you you'll be so freaking as scared that's why i'm not making it aware to you that's why i'm just giving you okay step one when you take step one i'll reveal step two if i show you everything you'll be so scared some of you might even be so scared shitless that you refuse to go because you'll be like that's too much that's too big i'll just permit <laughs> Whatever else, if you don't take anything else from this video, take one thing. <laughs> you have no clue. <laughs> like, I'm seeing what spirit has prepared for you. I actually have no clue. If you only take one thing from this video, even if this is your first time of ever seeing me, even if this is your last time of ever seeing me, I was brought here to channel this message for you. This is going to be the best thing you've ever done for yourself even where you are to go where you're being directed to this is going to be the if you don't ever do anything else for yourself in your life and that's impossible in fact this thing you're doing is going to be the first of many as i told you you're just at the beginning you've never started the race but if you don't do anything else for yourself this you've done this you are about to do it's changing your entire life story but you have to be brave enough to go through with it so the bravery is not with dealing with external circumstances no the bravery is with dealing with yourself of dealing with your ego of dealing with your old self and sitting down and saying okay oh boy babe let's have a conversation this ain't working we need to have a new flow we need to have a new experience 
and that new experience being brave enough to go for it because you'll see yeah as you'll be seeing seven 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 yeah at this point it's pretty like my love you're talking too much wrap it up because yes, i'm going to wrap it up i'm going to give you an information card to wrap it up it's the bottom of the deck i've never been short food i was called you on your mission <laughs> I was called your own mission. You're going for your soul's mission. That's where this is. Can you see? She's moving. The servants, you guys are moving. Can you see the boat? If you have every package, every shift, the boat will sink. So you are, you are going to be traveling light. This is the new place you're going to. And you see in your current environment, your current home, there's painful memories attached. Just be prepared to leave it behind. Start it if need out burning we are going to be traveling very very light okay i'm going to be 777 you're going to be saying 1717 i'm happy for you i know you're excited you're, ex you're scared she's less but i'm excited for you i'm happy for you all right final message for this collective spirit <laughs> this is your soul's mission And I love you for you. <sighs> that feel out like just wrap it up on this note. Feeling fear is a call for love. When you're afraid, know that it's time for you to love more. Whatever makes you feel afraid is what is asking you to show more of its love, to show its more love. You count that fear with love. I'm, I'm just greedy. I can never. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm so, so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. And if at any time you fold that, come back to this video, just remember my smile. Let that just encourage you to go on. Like spirit, what spirit does? No, I'm so happy I feel like crying. What spirit has planned, prepared for you in this place you are going to is going to absolutely freaking us and blow your mind away. Like your mind won't be able to wrap around it. Okay, I'm going to cap it up and leave. And as I told you, there's love. There's see, you think you're lonely now. The love you want, the love you deserve. The love you need cannot come when you are where you are. Cannot come while you are in this old space, in this old self, being this old person. It can't. Nah, spirit, nah, spirit, the spirit is not going to have that. The love you deserve that you're getting is going to come to the new person. It's already come to the new person. The love is there waiting. It's your detail I love. It's so beautiful. Feeling fear is a call for love. And on this note, I'm going to finish up this reading. I love you, baby. If this reading resonated, let me know. <laughs> I'll come back. If you just think. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oy, I'm so excited. If you chose this deck, yes, you already do. I'm so excited. <clears throat> There's good news coming in. There's good news coming in. All right, so um, new energy is significant here. Yeah? I'm picking up like Leo vibes, fire signs, also Aries, Sagittarius, but a lot of Leos. So you guys may have Leo placement significant. Oh, you place me just have Leo energy significant a lot around you right now. <clears throat> it might also be Aries or Sagittarius. Now, I'm excited. That's the overlying energy I'm getting. It's just this. <clears throat> yeah, the dawn of something new. Yeah, the dawn of something new. Like you've been, you em, you've embarked on your vision, on your mission. You've embarked on a quest. 
if you, you guys maybe focusing you guys okay so you are feeling pulled towards the sun before this reading you've been finding yourself pulled towards the sun staring at the sun sun beating but there's a lot here around staring at the sun being enamored by the sun because you are uh, there's something about you connecting with the sun on a different level you're feeling enamored by the sun so leading up to now you felt like you were on a mission you were on a quest you were seeking solutions you were seeking answers you were seeking more of yourself you were seeking more about god you were seeking about spirituality you wanted to know more and it's like you are realizing that every question you've had the answer always laid within you the answer was always lying within you the answer was always within you so for some of you you might have gone on this on this triple chase quest to find out to figure out solutions to figure out the answers to figure out like okay what is there what spirituality really about and it's like you are coming back to your starting off point come back to the starting off point of realizing oh the answers were within me all this while but if i didn't go on that pilgrimage if i didn't go on that voyage if i didn't go on those trips if i didn't go looking and seeking in those places then i wouldn't have been able to find this answer within me this traveling around this going around this asking questions has led me back to me has led me back to the starting point has led me back to my initial question and now i feel like i'm having the answer <laughs> and it's so amazing that the color prayer started when <laughs> i don't know this for you Dexy, the secret what is coming up for your awareness right now what is what is coming up to light is just your relationship with god it's your spirit your spirituality it's like your understanding your spiritual awareness you, this is not even about spiritual it's a deepened spiritual enlightenment that you can put words to that people can't explain to you that is just coming to you because the knowledge is finally seeping into yourself because now you are open and ready to receive so before you always thought like okay god had to be this way <laughs> to find god i had to go this way i had to go through religion i had to do this i had to do this this is the only way god could be found and now you're realizing god has always been around you god has always been within you and you're just caught up and right now you're in this place of great trust of mysticism you guys may be feeling like becoming monks or just dedicating the rest of your life to god but i want you to wait but i mean like screw pause pause oh that that's not what we're here for <laughs> right now you really are not able to put into words what you now understand about god it still feels so mysterious but it also feels so <sighs> I'm even having trouble like what the what I'm just seeing is just this images. So you are seeing like this vast emptiness. But the emptiness is also filled. Like it's like this vast emptiness. Like you're sitting and looking out over a canyon and you're realizing that as vast and as empty as it seems, it's actually filled with life, a whole lot of life. So it's like even the little things is making you understand so much you guys right now you may be feeling like people around you may be like you're being very philosophical you're more quiet you're being more astute you're being more aware of god you're being more aware of god's existence you're being more aware of, oh, i have chills <laughs> no wonder i was feeling so excited when i started you yeah, are being more aware of life, of the truth of life, of who God is, of <sighs> 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 
Yeah, just... <laughs> Kathy. Congratulations. And I'm glad you made it to this point in your soul awakening. Because this is not just a spiritual awakening, it's a soul awakening. Is your soul coming alive to? Is your soul coming alive and realizing that God has never been absent from you? God has always been within you all this while. You were looking for yourself. You realize now you're realizing that all that search for knowledge, all that search for the truth, all that search for God, all that search for was really the truth about the universe. It was all bringing you back to yourself. All of that was just you looking for yourself. I'm hearing like you were looking for me in places where I could not be found. <laughs> I was missing you all this while. I was inside you. When you were looking and I was chuckling to myself like, oh. <laughs> if only you knew. As you were looking and going where I was going with you. I was with you and I was just laughing. And as we were finding things that were bringing in more questions, I was chuckling. And I was bringing in more questions because then you're realizing that there has never been any question. <laughs> Neither has there been any answer. It has just always been what it is. <sighs> Next week, I'm so grateful for your existence. I'm so grateful that we are both in this life at the same time. For me to be able to channel this message for you and for you to be able to watch this video when it comes across your feed. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? For you to think that you are someone that your Bible met and I know your experiences, I know what you've gone through, I know what you're going through. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Spirit is ready to do miraculous things. With you. For you. Through you. Just keep on trusting. This question you've undergone has opened up your heart for you to understand more about what it means. What's the understanding that after all, overall, you're actually a spirit having a, an human experience. Realizing that it was just about you flipping the script. You were not a physical person undergoing a spiritual journey. No, you're a spirit undergoing a physical journey. <laughs> you're a spirit understanding what it means to walk on this earth, to see the beauty of creation to partake in creation. <laughs> hmm, this feels so good. This just feels so good. Spiritual enlightenment. Spiritual awakening. Being able to trust in the unknown. God is doing something good in your life and it's beautiful to see. You're also being raised up. You're also being raised up to be one who helps others on their spiritual journeys, who helps others come to the same truth you've come to. That's why you have to go through this journey. So you've gone through this journey so that you can also become a guide for others as they are awakening, as they are waking up to the truth over the years, they are becoming more aware. That's why you've also been made to go through this journey. Um, you guys may also be feeling pulled to setting up all as it's not as complicated as you think. No, make it complicated. Your altar, the basics of it is just, it should be a place <laughs> Now you know God is resting you. Your altar is your special place for you to be with God alone. No distractions, no worries, no issues. A place stayed as a coven, a cave, somewhere 
and I'm not saying she has to, have to go and live for a kid to be old. And it just has to be like an enclave, a part of your house that is made into a sanctuary for your communion with God, for your communion with spirit. So you are feeling pulled to creating an altar. So go ahead, go create it, but don't get it complicated now. It's just about having a place of worship, a place of honor, of coming. I've told you now, and you also know your spirit. It's a place for you to come back into that. Oh, I'm a spirit having a physical experience. When you're in that space, it is a place you honor your spiritual being. It is a place for you to honor your spiritual being. Okay, they're telling me to wrap it up here. So, you guys may be feeling bold to wearing yellows, oranges, browns, brunettes, mar marigold at this point in time. So, wear those colors. They're going to really help you to lighten up, embody your light as well. Okay, embodying your light. Okay, um, you're also going to be seeing butterflies, also purple pansies, purple, purple. <laughs> purple pansies, peonies, purple flowers, tulips, um, but purple butterflies. Okay. Any final message for deck three? You are going to be feeling tingles, but now you know the truth, and you can't unknow the truth. And when you know the truth, your intuition is also getting stronger. When you know the truth, there's something about you. When you know the truth, when the truth comes, when you come in contact with the truth, you feel it like tingles around your fingers. Your fingers get cold. <laughs> you feel it like tingles around your fingers. Your fingers get cold. My light attracts light. Take the weight of you. <laughs> Okay, when I show you this third affirmation, can you agree to laugh? Take the weight of the world off your shoulders. Can you read that? Your mind is an altar to source energy. Your mind is an altar to source energy. And the last one. My eye vibrations yield the world. My eye vibes yield the world. <laughs> and bottom of deck, I am protected by source. <laughs> you guys might also be seeing lions, tigers, cheetahs, big cats. Okay, there's something about how they embody their presence they are needing to learn at this time how to take up space because you know what you know i love this fight baby all right sugar plum i hit the wind yep <clears throat> if you choose this deck this card here's your reading all right, so straight up, you've seen this message at this time. You've been okay. So what what I'm picking up first of is you've been a, you you're, you're in an emit space, and there's something about you turning away from. It's like you recently got your heart broken. There's some. <coughs> This feels like an art break and that's made you turn away from love and romantic advances. So even as I'm seeing like a new love interest being offered to you, but you are like, uh, the ones I've tried in the past, they exactly didn't leave a pleasant taste in my mouth. There's something about you being given like a new love offer and you being very wary and suspicious of what is offered to you. Like, eh, I don't think I want any of that right now. <laughs> I don't think I want any of that right now. No, thank you. I'm going a, I'm to a maintain my private space. I'm a man. I just want to keep on nursing my heart. <laughs> 
Okay, so that's what's coming to light. Mm. There's something I'm hearing about you needing to take a chance on this love offer that is being given to you. And it's <sighs> okay, so I think it's, it might not necessarily last long. And I think about it, it was really long. But there's a reason why it's being offered to you. It's like you're needing to take a chance on this because right now you're worried and suspicious of it. You're like, uh, yes, it can go, it can go bad, it can. And yeah, yeah, projecting all of that without even giving this love any chance at all. What if it doesn't go bad? What if this is your happily ever after? What if this is the love that brings you to your happily ever after? What if this is the love that brings you all to even other things? This, this becomes the best friendship that you can always count on. This becomes the strongest support system. What if all of those things are contained within this cup you are currently rejecting because you are like, eh, no, I've been out so much in the past, I don't want to try this again. You guys are experiencing headaches, frontal headaches, tension headaches at this time. And that's because you are trying to, you are being very calculating about this emotional offer being made to you. You're being very calculating about this emotional offer, like, okay, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if. You're not even allowing yourself to look at the pros, to look at what if it actually turns out right. You are just, you are just being quite focused on what if it doesn't turn out right. What if, what if I open up my heart to this person again? What if I let my emotions show? What if I open up to that and then they let me fall? What if, what if? Nah, I would rather stay by myself. What if, what if? <clears throat> On one hand, I'm feeling like I should help you get some more clarity so you can. But there's also something spirit is saying that you need to be able to make this decision by yourself, for yourself. What I'm here to do is to let you realize that this is not an opportunity you should pass up. This is not an opportunity you should be wanting to pass up. You deserve sugar, not salt. What if this is actually the sugar coming into you? Your relationships in the past, they've showed you shaky. <laughs> but let's, let's look at this in another way. Did they really show you shaky or they were just experiences you needed to have? For some of you, I'm hearing like those actually, those experiences, you needed to have them to balance out your karmic contracts. You had karmic debts. You had karmic debts you needed to balance out. Take a chance on this new relationship, my love. Take a chance on this new relationship. You'll never know if you don't give it a trial. Even if this doesn't necessarily lead you to the long lasting. There's something worthwhile that is supposed to come out of this relationship that you miss out on if you don't try it. And it's, I'm not even seeing you missing out on it. It's like it's always going to be there, even if it comes in a different form until you are ready to accept it. Every experience that comes to you that you go through, no matter the outcome, trust that it happened for you. For some of the experiences, it happened so that you could grow your trust in yourself, so that you could trust yourself, so that you could grow some self-respect. For some, for some, those relationships happened because, so that you could get your integrity in check, so that you could value yourself, so that you could honor yourself. All of those experiences are something for you. For some, it was around you having to be able to discern like, ah, oh, okay, so that was not for me. That was the wrong one. That actually wasn't for me. That's not how I should be treated. For you to be discerning. And knowing. 
but don't miss out on this new love offer that's being made to you i want you to take a chance on them take a chance on them it's like this <laughs> and i know you feel like swatting me off like that i'm like no gravy but that's that's it that's what that's what i'm channeling for you this time that's what spirits want you to know they want you to take a chance on this new love of being made to you trust that there's a reason why this is being given to you and stop holding yourself back because of what you experienced in the past everything you experienced in the past was for you see life has been happened for you happening for you it's not to you so all every experience is for you in one way or the other either a lesson or a blessing and a lesson is still a blessing and a blessing is the lesson right so i'm feeling it's like spirit is telling me to just be silly with you that's the vibe i'm getting like spirit just wants to be silly with you like cheer up you're being too serious about it you're being too moody you're being too anti-social you're being too cheer up losing up lighting up it's not so serious as you're making it <laughs> it's really not so serious as you're making it it's not so serious as you're making it cheer up lighten up okay it's like also this um this turning off of your art towards romantic um romantic offers is also kind of like affecting your creativity because that joy is not there for you to create and your love and your joy are intermingled your art if you close off your art you are closing off your i keep forgetting i'm wearing a microphone oh dear, your audio feedback is not so crazy closing off your art to love is you also closing off your art to the part of yourself that deserves to be loved so including your creativity what you do the ways you express yourself, the ways you show up for yourself, the ways you enjoy life, the things you enjoy. You are closing off yourself to all of those. You are closing off yourself to joy, to happiness, to laughter. You are being too serious. So, so loosen up. I want you to also at this time listen to like some instrumental music, especially like air instruments, so flute, trumpet, um, bass, um, saxophone um this one that goes nah, 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 nah. organ music um lute okay lute i'm hearing absicot so by the absicot isn't a percussion instrument anyways listen to flute music is also just going to help you just take a chance on this trust me take a chance on this for yourself because it's also going to let your creativity bloom for some of you, you are looking at this relationship as just a one-way street, like the person is coming. That's why I keep feeling heavily. I'm feeling heavily like you're looking at it like this, this offer is just a love opportunity, but it's not. There are actually other things attached to it. There are creative opportunities, there are friendship opportunities, there are partnership opportunities attached aside from the love harmony. Aside from the love, like energy, the love vibrations, there are actually other things attached that you are not able to see right now because you are just focusing on the love and you're like, you don't want to be your thing, you know? So look at all of those other things. Those other things are, that's what is coming to life for me to let you know. Those other things are attached to it. And you're going to miss, you're going to keep yourself back from experiencing those things if you keep saying no to this. Okay? Okay? All right, deck four. I'm a capiteer. Spirit is like, I should make this short and sweet so that you can watch it as often as you need to. But it's just one thing. Spirit has always got you. And trust that everything is happening for you. If it didn't work out in the past because it was never supposed to, you, you went through it so you could get through it that you could come out from it you could look back and be like oh okay maybe that's why that happened how about that i love you you've got this spirit has got your back you'll never be alone and everything happens for 
you for your best and highest good.